The United Kingdom is considering developing long-range missiles capable of destroying Russian nuclear weapons, as fears grow in Europe that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin may be ready to use them, The Times reports. Diplomatic sources of the news agency said that the UK has made it clear that it will work with Germany to create a weapon with a range of about 3,200 kilometers. The Allies assume that this weapon will be able to fly from Berlin to Moscow if Putin decides to launch tactical nuclear weapons. UK Defence Secretary John Healy is believed to have discussed the project with his German counterpart in Berlin on Wednesday, July the 24th. He was there as part of a 48-hour diplomatic tour of Europe to strengthen cooperation between the UK and its allies and promote its NATO first defence strategy. The long-range missiles will be deployed in Germany, replacing the US missiles that will be deployed there in the coming years. According to a diplomatic source, recent Putin statements and others indicate that Russia is lowering the threshold for the use of tactical nuclear weapons. This month, the United States and Germany announced that US long-range missiles will be periodically stationed in Germany starting in 2026 for the first time since the Cold War. The decision which provoked an angry reaction from Moscow was announced during the NATO summit in Washington. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Russian officials and media have regularly threatened to use nuclear weapons against various countries around the world. According to experts from the Institute for the Study of War, such actions are aimed at intimidating Western politicians into taking actions favorable to Russia. The communique issued following the June G7 summit states that Russia will face serious consequences if it dares to use nuclear or chemical weapons. But Russian officials have repeatedly threatened to use nuclear weapons against Western countries. In particular, in February, Vladimir Putin said that his country could demonstrate an intercontinental ballistic missile SAMAT capable of carrying a nuclear charge. Russian troops attacked columns of armored vehicles, a pack of motorbikes and 200 paratroopers. The enemy tried to break through on the Kurakov direction, but it was stopped by the fighters of the AFU's 79th Separate Paratrooper Assault Brigade, who are holding the defense in the southwestern part of Donetsk region. The brigade fighters reported about the course of one of the largest armored attacks by the Russians on their Facebook page. The message of the fighters appeared on the network in the evening of July the 24th. It is indicated that the Tavria Brigade repelled the largest attempt of the Russians to break through in the Kurakov direction. 57 armored vehicles went into battle, including 11 tanks, 45 armored vehicles, one Terminator tank support vehicle. This mass of vehicles was assisted by racers on 12 motorbikes and 200 Russian paratroopers, the Ukrainian military said. The Russians launched their attack in the morning and moved from several directions at once. At first, they were stopped on the distant approaches by artillery and mines. Then, FPV drones came into play. At a certain point, the assault stalled. The armored vehicles stopped and the paratroopers scattered to shelters in forested areas. However, drone operators found them there too, the Ukrainians summarized. As a result of the battle, our paratroopers hit six tanks and seven AFVs with infantry, burned all 12 motorbikes. The Russians suffered huge losses in manpower. 40 Russians destroyed another 37 wounded, reads the note of 79th Separate Paratrooper Assault Brigade. A video from the scene shows columns of Russian tanks moving straight across the fields. Five vehicles can be counted in one of them, the battle footage shows. Some of them were blown up by mines, some of them exploded after anti-tank weapon strikes, and some of them were blown up by FPV drones. Deep State's online battle map shows that the front line near Vuladar is changing on the northern flank. The distance from the battle line to Kharkov is about 12 kilometers. The report of the Ukrainian general staff as of the evening of July the 24th described the situation in the east. It is stated that during the day, the hottest situation was right near Kurakov. The Russians attacked 29 times.